Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Uh, the day just kind of flew by. It kind of, I don't know, it just kind of left my hands. I was starting out doing one thing, and then another fire would happen, and another fire would happen, and another fire would happen. And I just kept putting out fires all day long. Does that ever happen to you? I've done so much today, but I can't even remember what I did because I was so busy all day long. Just one thing right after the other. Sometimes life can be like that. We get super busy and we don't even know what it is we've accomplished. Sometimes we miss important moments with our children, our spouses, with our family. And we don't mean to because we're just so busy. But God can redeem time. Now, things have happened in your life that have stolen precious moments with your family. I encourage you to ask God to redeem the time. To bring back to you the years that were eaten by the locusts. To restore to you the things that the enemy has stolen. Did he steal your childhood? Did he steal your innocence? He stole mine. But I know that God is faithful and God will redeem the time for all of us. We just have to ask. So let's, let's take it to the Lord and pray. Father God, I pray for anybody who is within the sound of my voice that they would hear your voice when you say that you will redeem time, that you will restore unto us all the years the locust has eaten. I pray that you would restore relationships and families and hope and broken promises and Revive dead dreams. Breathe life back into the dry bones of these people, Lord, and their dreams and their lives. I pray, Lord, that whatever they're going through, whatever's been stolen from them, that they would walk out on the other side with it in hand or better, and that they wouldn't even come out looking like they had gone through everything that they had gone through. I pray that the divorce would be erased from their face, that... The heartbreak would be erased from their face. I pray that the disappointment would be removed. And in its place would be a, a vision of your joy and your love and your restoration. God, with you, all things are possible. There's nothing you cannot do. I pray, Lord, that you would tear down every wall, every Jericho that stands between them and their promised land. Between them and the thing that you have showed them that you want for them. I pray that you would prepare them to keep it. I pray that you would make provision for them to keep it, Lord God. And I thank you that you're leading us. I thank you that you're destroying the enemy right now, right in front of us, Lord. Thank you that you are faithful, Lord God. Just like you were faithful to Rahab when she hung the scarlet line outside her window. She kept her promise and you kept yours. Great is your faithfulness, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you so much that you redeem the time for us. Today was a really hard day and everything that happened, all I could think was, <sighs> sorry about that, guys. My arms are really tired. I just really was just using that mouth like crazy today. I just kept thinking I wanted to talk to my mom. Today would be a great day to talk to my mom. And, you know, I just complain. I tell her everything that happened. And then she goes, you know what, honey? Tomorrow will be better. So go ahead and, and just let it all out. David always did. Just remember that tomorrow will be better. Pitch your tent in the land of hope and know that God will bring better days, always. And if it's not good yet, God's not done because he promised that all things work together for good to them who have been called according to his purpose. So hang in there. I love you. I pray that you have a wonderful night. Lend hope to someone. Be kind and I ask you to sleep sweet tonight. I pray you have good dreams. And then you wake up fresh and rested tomorrow. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.